In this series of videos, we're going to learn to prepare seven different types of budgets. The first video, we're going to learn how to make a schedule of expected cash collections. So why don't we do that? Now, as with all of my videos, I put a problem on, we solve the problem, and the problem is linked right below this video. It's a drop box. It kind of takes you to an external website, but if you just click the link, I promise there's no viruses. It's just to download uh, this uh, file so you can work on it on your own. Um, so anyway, here's the question. John Inc. budget sales for the third quarter of 2013, and they give budgeted sales in dollars, 16000 20000 14000 and so what John Inc's wondering is when are they going to get the money? They're selling 16, 20, and 14 grand, but they don't get the money right away because, you know, when businesses sell things, they sell things on account and they collect a little later. So when are they getting the money? That's the question of this. Well, it goes on and gives us a little bit of information. It says, from past experience, the company has learned that 75% of sales are collected in the month of the sale. So when they sell 16 grand in July, they're going to get 75% of that money in July. 20,000 in August, they get 75% of that in August, and, and so on. 25% of the sales are collected in the month following the sale. So 25 is going to be receivable. We get it all the next month. Um, uncollectible accounts are unusual and may be considered to be 0%. So this company has very few uncollected accounts. It gets almost all of its money. It makes our life a little bit easier. Beginning accounts receivable were $3,000, all of which were expected to be collected in July. Okay, I think we've got enough information. It says prepare the company's schedule of expected cash collections for the third quarter. Calculate the company's accounts receivable balance uh, at the end of September. We've got more than enough information to answer this question. Let's get started. We're going to start this with a, a title. The, uh, the title is, again, a typical three-line accounting title, the name of the company. John Inc. The name of the uh, schedule we're preparing. We're preparing a schedule of expected cash collections. And the date. And the date is going to be, well, let's see, July, August, September. It's for the third quarter of 2012. So I could say for the third quarter of 2012, or I could say for the quarter ended, uh, what's the end of the quarter? Uh, September. So September 30th, 20, actually let's say 2013. I don't know why, oh it is 2013. I don't know why 2012 was in my mind because that's last year. Um, okay, so we've got a title. And again, there's room for some headings here, so we're going to have, what are the three months here? Uh, July, August, September, I guess. July, August, September are the three months in the quarter. And this is going to be our total for quarter three, and that'll be our totals call. So where to begin? Well, we want to know when we're going to get our money, and I like to do it in order. So the first money that I'm collecting is money from accounts receivable. So I'm going to say beginning AR. And this, again, we're just, remember what this is called. It's called the schedule of expected cash collections. When do we expect to collect our cash? So I expect to collect my beginning accounts receivable. And how much was that? That was $3,000. And it says all of which were expected to be collected in July. So let's fill that in then. I expect to collect $3,000 from my beginning accounts receivable in July done. Now what's the next cash I'm expecting to collect? Well the next cash I'm expecting to get is July sales. July sales were $16,000. So let's put that down here. July sales. And July sales were $16,000 but as we said before we're only going to get 75% of the sales in the month the sale is made, 25% in the following month. So of that 16000 75%, which is 12,000, 75% happens in July. The other 25%, which is 4,000, that gets collected in August, of course. So again, 75% of the sales are collected in the month of the sale, 
25% are collected in the month following the sale. So 75% of that money comes in in July, 25% of that money comes in in August. Well, let's fill that in. $12,000 of July sales come in in July. $4,000 of July sales come in in August. Marvelous. Uh, let's do August. August, we had $20,000 in sales. 75% come in in August. That's uh, $15,000. 25% uh, come in in September. So again, August sales. 75% in August. So 75% times 20,000 is uh, 15,000. So 15,000 of that money is going to come in in August. Uh, let me scroll up just a bit. 15,000 comes in in August. The other 5,000 doesn't come in until September. So we've dealt with August sales. Let's deal with September sales. And again, we're worried about when is the collection occurring. So September sales were 14 grand. 75% of that money comes in in September. 25% uh, comes in in October. Well, let's deal with the September first. 75% of 14,000. Should have used a more even number. I'm having a hard time doing the math in my head here. Um, shoot, I gotta, I'm gonna use a calculator. Oops, what? Calc usually opens a calculator. Start calc. There it is, calculator, yeah. So, 0.75 times 14,000 is 10,500. So we get 10,500 of September's money in September. 75% of September's money comes in in September. Uh, the rest comes in in October. That's 3,500 in October. But October is not in quarter three. We were scheduled or we were asked, tasked, with preparing a schedule for the third quarter. Well, if we get money in October, that's great. We got money in October, but that's not the third quarter. October, November, December, that's the fourth quarter of the year. And remember, think about quarters. January, February, March, that's a quarter of the year. That's three out of 12 months. That's a fourth of the year. That's quarter one, January, February, March. April, May, June is quarter two. July, August, September is quarter three. Uh, October, November, December is quarter four. So we're in quarter three. September falls in quarter three, but October does not. So the fact that I'm getting $3,500 of September sales in October doesn't affect my September schedule of expected cash collections or my, my quarter three schedule of expected cash collections. All right, we're basically done the budget. Now we just need to total all the way around. So total here and totals for the quarter. So my beginning AR, well, the total there is 3,000, 12 and four, 16,000, 15 and 5 is 20,000, 10,500, there's nothing to total. Add it down, 15,000, 19,000, adding down 15,500. Uh, I think I get 49,500 as my grand total here. And if I were to be proper about this and why not put dollar signs at the top, of each column and at the bottom and I maybe ought to be putting a line underneath where I'm doing some math and double underlining bottom lines of statements. So at that point I'm pretty satisfied with this schedule of expected cash collections but it's important to know like why did we even do this? Well, a company needs to know when it's going to collect its money. So it knows, okay, I'm going to have $15,000 coming in in January. That's $15,000 I have to spend on, on you know, paying employee salaries, paying my bills, paying expenses, maybe purchasing assets or paying dividends to shareholders. We need to know not only when we're going to get the sale, but when we're going to get the cash. So that's what this is all about. When we collect our cash, and you can see when this company is going to get the, to collect its cash and they can make plans accordingly. The second part of the question was what was the ending accounts receivable for the quarter? So the AR at the end of the quarter is any amount that I haven't collected. Well I've collected all of my July sales, I've collected all of my August sales, but my September sales we said oh some of that we're going to get in October. Well how much is hanging off the table here? How much haven't we collected yet? And the answer is well 
again, my September sales were 14,000. And of my September sales, I've only seen 10,500 of the money. That other 3,500 we're going to get in October, that's my accounts receivable at the end of this period. So I've answered the question. I've prepared a schedule of expected cash collections. Hopefully that's been helpful for you. In the next video, we'll learn to prepare a production budget.